Hello everyone, welcome to Online Seller UK podcast. Um, this afternoon I have Carly Chung from Street Pricer talking to us about uh, how you can help online sellers grow their sales. Hi Carly. Hi, how are you Prabhu? I'm good, I'm good. So why don't you introduce yourself Carly and then we'll take it from there. Sure. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Cardi Chung. I'm the founder of Street Pricer. We are an eBay repricer. We do price optimization and um, our, our, our software will help you increase your sales, increase your margin and optimize your inventory flow. So that's what we do. Okay, excellent. So uh, repricer itself, yeah, a, lot of, a lot of sellers on Amazon, they use repricer a lot. I think for a lot of sellers without repricer, they, they can't function on Amazon. So what's the state of play on eBay? Is it a similar case? Um, um, sorry, what was it again? So with regards to eBay repricer, mm -hmm. um, is it the similar situation like an Amazon? Is it something we, we as an eBay seller must have? Um, I, 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 I would say definitely because the eBay catalog system is, is unique as we all know. Um, you know, it's not like Amazon that you have an AC number and all the competitors are there uh, on eBay. You do have to find your competition. So um, you, you, to have a specialized repricer to find your competition, it is, it, it, it is essential on eBay, you know, especially. Okay, right. Excellent. So um, on Amazon, again, I'm comparing with Amazon all the time because um, a lot of Amazon sellers are doing the repricer. So we've got a unique identity for each product. So it's more or less easier to uh, find out who is your exact competitor, right? So on, on eBay, we don't, we don't seem to have that system working very well. So how do you actually uh, work with repricing in that case? So um, we have a logic. So we look into your product data um, in, in, um, in the item specifics. Okay. So if you have um, EAN, we use your EAN. If you have UPC, we use U UPC. Mm -hmm. If you have the MPN, the manufacturer's part number, we use that. Um, you can use keywords um, if, um, if that's applicable in your category or even, even manually um, drop you know, your competitor's item ID you know, into our system. So we have a number of ways and that's the key with eBay. You, you, you can't just use one strategy. You have to use a combination of them and you need to have a logic to drive them you need to have a logic to filter them out and you need to have a logic to 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 to, to selectively um uh, convert those unconfirmed competition we call them suspects right. into into confirmed competitors so that's the key you need to have a two-step two-pass approach on ebay um price monitoring and repricing Okay, so are you saying, so for example, if I've got 5,000 listings, right? So are you saying I need to manually confirm each and every listing um, to our competitor? Is that, is that what oh, you're no, saying? No, not at all. Like if you have hundreds or thousands, you can't, do it, you can't do it manually. So you need a software that can automatically look at your product data and, and, and make the decision from there. So we, we do what we can, depending on... How, how good, um, how clean your product data is. So it, it, let's say if you're selling a product um, that has got a clearly identifiable EAN and if your competitors use the same EAN as well, so chances are you wouldn't have to do any work. So our system can yeah. do all the work for you. Yeah. But if you are selling in a different category, for example, if, if you're selling, let's say, um, automotive parts, because with auto parts, they usually don't have a definitive EAN or or UPC, so you would, uh, the, the, usually the information is in the MPN field. So you would, um, again, um, our system can actually be configured to look into the MPN data and automatically lock onto your competitors. But if, you are, if you're working with um, fashion or, 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 or collectibles, then you probably won't have any product data to work with. So I think in that case, our velocity-based repricing would be would be the ideal solution. So with velocity-based repricing, you don't need to actually identify your competitors. So if you set a proper floor and ceiling price for your item, yeah. okay. our system will automatically find the optimal price point for your products. Ah, okay. So are you saying this is not repriced against a competing product? This is just- Exactly. 
exactly. this is just so because how, if you're selling um sorry if you're selling fashion or fashion or or used items you really don't have any direct competitors to to, to benchmark your, no. your your product or pricing against right because yeah. if yeah. if it is the same used um iphone you know your yours could be in, in in really good means condition but another one could be really used or really bashed up so you know you you can't really um uh, pack your product against any 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 competitor out there it would just be a waste of time so use velocity in that case it will save you heaps of time okay so can you explain a little bit more how this velocity works so with, with velocity repricing um, um it, it it's really simple you you look at your sales velocity um you can choose to look at it every week every day or every three days so you mm -hmm. look at your sales velocity so if your sales velocity is zero that means if you're not selling yeah then um usually um uh, um, the best course of action is that you would slowly decrease your pricing, you know, um, at a gradient. It could be okay. um, one percent every week, could be one percent a day. Just slowly drop your pricing until it sells. Okay. So once it sells at a certain sales velocity, certain rate, you can say, okay, just leave it there. Don't change it because that's the rate that I want to be selling at. Okay. But on the other hand, if you're selling exceedingly well, you may want to consider raising your prices because you're probably too cheap. So okay. that's how velocity works. Ah, okay. That's excellent. That's, uh, I think that's a pretty new concept, I think, compared to, yeah, uh, it, uh, compared to repricing against a, a competitor. So, so what sort of categories um, seller co typically use a uh, street repricer? Um, all categories, really. So we have um, customers from lots of different categories, um, certainly automotive, um, health and beauty, uh, home and garden, electronics, mm. um, electrical, okay. uh, sporting goods, um, fashion, um, collectibles. Uh, we really have a, a very broad spectrum of, of users on our system um, and, and from different countries and different eBay sites as well. So it's really a no hard and fast rule. Probably I would suggest um, uh, for sellers who sell uh, more than five to 10,000 pounds uh, per month of turnover yeah. should okay. definitely look at using a repricer because at that scale uh, you will need a software to help you to help you okay and do you have any sort of figure on if using repricer I know it may not be consistent across all the accounts or all the categories do you have a rough guide what sort of sales increase do you typically see with, with the repricer being used um, we, we are working on that. Uh, that question gets asked a lot. I know uh, sellers uh, who use our, our, our software, they swear by it. Um, so in the past, because it is kind of difficult to measure because it depends on different categories, depending on um, your product, um, whether you are, you are sourcing, you're buying it correctly. So in, uh, for example, if you are if you're buying um, um, not properly, if you're, you're pricing is not competitive, it doesn't matter what we do, uh, we're not going to be able to increase your prices, right? Yeah. Um, however, having said that, so we just started measuring mm -hmm. uh, the before and after effect about two to three months ago. So we're waiting for the system to actually run um, uh, probably... Um, we, we, we want to see it run for another six months or so. Then we would have have good data across you know, a broad spectrum, seasonally adjusted, we will be able to, to share with our, um, our repricer community what is the sales percentage lift. But it's certainly in a positive territory. Okay. Um, and if you don't use repricing, your, your, your sales will drop because other people are using a repricer and if you're not price competitive, you're, you're, really, you're really gone, you're out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. So, um, so if somebody is to start a plugging in our eBay system to yours, how long does it take from the starting to plug in to get things moving forward? Um, it's really easy to set up because if um, if they if, if if they sign up tomorrow, you know, it, it usually it can be up and running in a matter of days. A couple okay. of days is all it takes. In fact, with velocity-based repricing, you can be up and running in, 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 in 24, 48 hours. It's okay. really quick. It's surprisingly and, easy. Okay. And is there support you provide during setup? 
yeah, we have an onboarding team. Uh, they are very, they're very experienced. Um, they're very responsive. So yeah. uh, onboarding is, is part of the package, is part of the service. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so what is the cost price does it start with? What sort of cost price starts with? So um, the, the plan, okay, we have a free plan. It is okay. free, free forever, yeah. um, absolutely. Um, there's no catch, uh, free yeah. for 10 SKUs. So you okay. can use our product for as long as you want to for on 10 of your products. That's completely yeah. free. Yeah. Um, if you have a thousand um, listings in your store, then um, it's $29 US. Um, it's still not expensive at all. $29 US. No. It's about an hour, two hours of, of work. Um, you can certainly see the payback, you know, very quickly. Okay, excellent. So now can I, can I get that right? So if I've got a thousand SKUs, I can try your system with my 10 SKUs, even if I've got a thousand in my inventory, is that right? You can pick, uh, out of your 1000, you can pick any 10. Any 10. You can, you, you're most welcome to use our system yeah. for as long as you want to. And then when, 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 when you want to, 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 to apply street prices to all of your items, then $29 US per month, yeah. uh, which is very reasonable. Okay. Yeah. I think it's, it's a very reasonable. So I think you've given us a lot of information here. Um, before you go, do you work with Amazon as well? Um, we, 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 we don't, not yet. Okay. So we are predominantly an eBay repricer. Yeah. Um, however, having said that, um, you know, that there is, uh, I'm not ruling anything out. Um, so we actually have a very, good roadmap um, in front of us and Amazon and other marketplaces um, is certainly on the cards. So, but right now we are just you're kind of like busy helping eBay sellers, you know, getting the, um, the sales up and profit up um, Amazon um, in about 12 months. Okay. Okay. No, it, it's good to know because if somebody's finding the system quite efficient, it makes sense to uh, plugging in Amazon as well. Right? Yeah. Right. De oh. Definitely. Actually, in many ways, Amazon repricing is actually easier because okay. all of your competitors is all on the same AC number. So it's actually right. easier. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense. Right. If somebody has to find your card, where is the best place to go? Uh, come to our website, um, www.streetpricer.com. So S-T-R-E-E-T-P-R-I-C-E-R, streetpricer.com. And uh, you can find all the pricing information there. The features are there and the free sign up button is there. So, you know, we, we look forward to having, you know, having you. Okay, cool. I'll uh, include uh, links at the bottom of the um, recorded podcast and also blog post. So, um, of course. so the listeners can go to and check them out. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Thank you very much, Cardi, for your time. So uh, yeah. I'll speak to you soon. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.